Welcome to FL Studio 101. I'm Andrew Aversa, also known as Zircon, and I'm an FL Studio power user that's been using the program since 2003. From its humble beginnings as a simple drum sequencer to its current status as a fully featured digital audio workstation, FL has come a long way and is now one of the industry's foremost tools for music production. In this course, I'll be showing you all the basics of using the software, from writing and recording MIDI, to working with a unique pattern-based workflow, recording and editing audio, creating arrangements, adding plugins, linking MIDI controllers and automating parameters, rendering, and much more. In the videos that follow, I'm going to assume that you've never used FL before. Even if you have spent a little bit of time with it, I recommend that you watch the entire course from the start as the concepts do build on each other. So what makes FL Studio special? It takes a very different approach to songwriting and production than traditional DAWs. The heart of this difference is the pattern-based workflow. In a traditional program like Logic, Sonar, or Cubase, your songs play from left to right with each track containing perhaps a virtual instrument, MIDI, or an audio file. In FL Studio, your MIDI data is contained in patterns, which can be anything from a simple bass line to a complex layered part. A typical project might have dozens of patterns. Mine have sometimes stretched into the hundreds. Patterns are then arranged in a playlist view and manipulated along with audio and automation clips, all of which can be moved around seamlessly. This innovative workflow, combined with many other speed-enhancing features, will allow you to create songs faster than you ever thought possible. And don't think that FL is only useful for rhythm-based music, like hip-hop or electronic dance music. Check out this orchestral project I created for a popular video game. With all that said, I'd like to jump right in. I hope you enjoy the rest of the course.